omega-3 fats, what do they do exactly? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You've heard that omega-3 fats are good for you, but what exactly do they do? How do they really help us? Well, you know, in fish and in fish oil, there's, there are these two omega-3 fats. One is called EPA and the other one is called DHA. One that means that stands for, by the way, eicosampantanoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid. But we just call them EPA and DHA. In flaxseed oil, there's another omega-3 fat called alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA. And once in your body, those omega-3 fats, the body tries as best it can to convert them all into the EPA version of the omega-3, the eicosampantanoic acid. So as the EPA builds up, the body takes that EPA for that, you, that, was, that you can get from fish, fish oil, and also derived from flaxseed oil as the body elongates ALA to become EPA. And the EPA then becomes converted in your cells to prostaglandin series 3. I know it sounds complicated, but when you have those foods and those oils, they eventually give the body the omega-3 fats necessary to make prostaglandin series 3 hormones, which are anti-inflammatory. They reduce the stickiness of your blood. They dilate the blood vessel wall so you have better blood flow and slow down the rate at which cells divide, which reduces your risk of cancer. These omega-3 fats also lower triglyceride levels, preventing heart disease, especially in diabetics. And the DHA part sometimes goes to the eyes and to the brain to support vision and brain function and brain development. And the ALA from flaxseed oil can actually lower blood pressure and help to replace some of the bad fats that people consume. Now, when you have the bad polyunsaturated fats, they have the opposite effect. They form prostaglandin series two. So the omega-3 fats can make prostaglandin series three. That's good. But the bad polyunsaturated fats in the diet make prostaglandin series two, which have the opposite effect increasing cancer risk, promoting inflammation, making your blood sticky so there's a greater chance there'll be abnormal clots that can lead to heart attack, stroke, thromboembolism, and also um, promoting, as I said, inflammation and cancer risk. So you really have to know a couple of things. First of all, how do you get the bad fats out of your diet? Because if you don't do that, then using omega-3 fats is only going to be of limited value because there's always going to be this competition between the good and the bad fats. You also have to know how to get the omega-3 fats at the right concentrations on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've explained it all in chapter one of my book. The book is called Machino, The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. The point is that in chapter one, I clarify all of this for you. Now you can download chapter one of the book for free at the link below, and I suggest that you do that. It'll answer all your questions on good fats and bad fats and how to implement the good fats into your diet and, and how to do it in a really practical lifestyle plan so it's not like you have to move to the jungle and grow your own bean sprouts. I'm talking about day-to-day -day living as you and I know about it. And it, because it has such important implications for your long-term health, it's a chapter you really should read. So get the details, click on the link, download chapter one. You can read it for free and I think you'll see it'll help straighten out any kind of uh, uh, mystery around good fats, bad fats, olive oil, all of the different things are included in that chapter that I think is valuable to know about. Now machinohealth.com you'll see my other research re review papers, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.